I'm Barbara Janssens, a career manager at uh, the German Council Research uh, Center. I advise our uh, researchers, PhD students, postdocs for their professional future in academia and beyond. I had heard about it a little bit, you know, because some, some announcements are forwarded on, on emailing lists, but uh, in fact one of our, our student aides participated um, three years ago. And, and really recommended it. I mean, said like I, I, I took part, and I think this was really interesting. And from then on, I started to um, to talk about this whenever students would come and say like, ah, oh, you know, I would be interested in you know in a more industry or entrepreneurial uh, future. And then I said, well, you know, if you want to inform yourself, maybe that's an idea. Have a look at it. They start to think about that, but it's still a little bit far off. So uh, um, it's it's not um, for granted that they say like, oh, it's an evident thing that uh, after my PhD I will make my startup. Uh, but I do see a difference uh, compared to five years ago, where it was a complete um, far-fetched uh, idea. That now they start to realize, well, maybe it's not so far off. You know, if I'm gonna, going to look for a more applied role in, in, in science, uh, in, in industry, it might actually be uh, a more straightforward line to actually go for my own, my own thing than actually trying to apply for something offered by industry. What I really liked best was the was the team, the teamwork uh, where we did the the, um, the pitch uh, to the investors. I think both for the preparation, the preparation time, and the experience to really um, uh, argue and uh, and think in business terms. That was really interesting. It's a, it's a good question, actually. Um, you know, it seemed far-fetched yeah, before or you say like well you know um, setting up a company is like you know a huge responsibility and uh, and high risk and uh, and I really start to see that uh, that the, the risk is not much bigger than um, than any job and that this degree of, of, of freedom of creativity is actually very tempting. I think uh, it's very the, the offer of, of BTP is very good, and I think um, exactly showing these these examples, um, bringing young startups, uh, sharing their experience with how it really went uh, in in practice. I think that's very useful to 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 bring it just a bit closer to uh, to the reality of young scientists. Above all, I would say enjoy. Have fun, and uh, and you will see. I mean, uh, you you need to invest a little bit of uh, of time, but you won't notice the time that you you spend on it because it's actually really fun. And um, and do go a bit further than than your comfort zone in saying like, okay, we read the paper and uh, and then look for uh, for the principles because the modules are all taught very very clearly. But you learn more when you go a little bit above that edge of the of the eighty percent. Yes, it's a very good question. It's uh, something very uh, fresh to think uh, to think about. I I really think um, that we can get some inspiration uh, there uh, in terms of you know not thinking too small and and yet you know matching with with some realistic uh, experience that uh, that they make and uh, and I think that's uh, that's really interesting. Mm -hmm.